In other news, the so-called Freedom Convoy of Canadian truckers opposed to a vaccine mandate has been called an insult to the truth for their hateful rhetoric by Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, who refuses to meet with them. Well, protesters have been demonstrating in person outside the Canadian Parliament in Ottawa for days over a cross-border vaccine mandate for truck drivers. Meanwhile, the truck convoy has been driving through the country for the past week, stretches over 45 miles and has raised over £5 million in donations before the GoFundMe page was suspended. Well, joining us now is Gord McGill, a 25-year-old veteran trucker who recently took part in the Freedom Convoy protests in Ottawa. Well, please let us know the, an, an update. Me. Oh, sorry, go for it. <clears throat> Pardon me. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it's been a very interesting week for the Freedom Convoy. Um, we've been racking up quite a few wins, as a matter of fact. Um, the presence of the convoy has caused a ripple effect throughout Canadian politics. We've seen the leader of Her Majesty's lay back and take it opposition. The Conservative Party of Canada has uh, been ousted and an interim leader installed. The Premier of Saskatchewan has announced that all mandates and uh, requirements in his province will end at the end of this month. And the Premier of Alberta is looking to follow suit. It's um, been very effective. It's interesting to think why Justin Trudeau thought that this mandate would work in a sense. When we've seen vaccine mandates before, it's to drive up the number of people who are getting their jab. But of course, a lot of truckers, um, such as yourself, I imagine, are uh, Americans who are driving goods into Canada. And if Canada, in effect, shuts its borders to a high proportion of those drivers, of course, America is a less vaccinated country than many others around the world. Surely that, that's a bit shooting himself in the foot, particularly when it comes to goods on shelves. It is. Um, uh, the north and south traffic over the Canadian border is handled mostly by Canadian trucks. Um, there's a smaller percentage of Americans, but yeah, that's correct. And if American drivers don't want to come into Canada, well, their market's much bigger. They just won't. So, uh, and, and we, we've got pretty good vaccination rates on, on the Canadian side and in the trucking community. And all the truckers have been working through this pandemic and have been shown all this love as essential workers for the last two years. Um, for, the tr for Trudeau to come in and bring this in at such a late hour, it didn't make sense to anybody. It was viewed as my, by myself and many of my fellow road warriors as nothing more than punishment for failure to comply. It has very little to do with science, statistics, or uh, the COVID rates on the ground. It's, um, yeah, it wasn't taken very well, as you can see. And also, Gord, you, you've raised over $5 million in donations, the truckers as, as a whole, but the GoFundMe page has also been suspended. I mean, what do you make of some of the reaction to what the truckers have been doing? Well, it's interesting you bring that up. So, yes, the GoFundMe has raised $10 million in Canadian funds. And very interestingly, Prime Minister Trudeau ran away, assuming that the protests, which I was at on Saturday in Ottawa, would turn into a January 6th North. And he has yet to meet with any of the leadership of the Freedom Convoy. However, a committee has been formed in Parliament to haul representatives from GoFundMe in front of Parliament to explain how they're not going to give any of that money to supposed extremists, which we've been accused of associating with. It's very interesting how they can bring GoFundMe to Parliament and talk to them, but not bring the truckers to Parliament and address our concerns. Gord, you would uh, disassociate yourself from those comments. A, a January 6th in the North, that's a pretty incendiary remark. Um, do you think most truckers would disassociate themselves from that? Well, nobody ever associated with themselves to begin with. It was memed into reality. The government and its supporters in the media were shaking in their boots, thinking they were going to see a repeat of what happened in America, and nothing of the place took nothing of the sort took place. Well, well th thank you, uh, Gord McGill, twenty-five-year veteran trucker who recently took part in the Freedom Convoy protest in Ottawa, mm. Canada. Yeah, really good to get your perspective mm. there. Thanks for joining us and for getting yes, up early. Uh, on the other side of the